call them shit. Aneuploidy, a defect caused by an improper number of chromosomes, is very easy to detect, but the cause is still unknown. Cells with the correct number of chromosomes are called euploids. However, when an egg or sperm has a missing or extra chromosome, it is called an aneuploidy. Aneuploidy is detected through the use of karyotyping, lining up chromosomes in a picture to see what is there and what's missing. Aneuploidy is caused by an error in meiosis. Aneuploidy is linked to many birth defects and congenital conditions. However, in many cases, the fetus does not live to be fully developed. In most cases, aneuploidy causes spontaneous miscarriages. If a fetus makes it to live birth, he or she is subject to many birth defects that can drastically lower life expectancy. The most common aneuploidies are trisomies 21, 18, and 13. Trisomy 21 is most well known, and it is the cause of Down syndrome. Mitotic aneuploidy, where the aneuploidic error occurs in mitosis instead of meiosis, is associated with almost all solid tumor cancers. Other diseases that can be caused by meiotic aneuploidy are Edwards syndrome and Patau syndrome. Budding yeast can be used to illustrate aneuploidy's effects on gene expression. Experimental evolution in yeast suggests a correlation between aneuploidy and the presence of adaptive phenotypes in response to less than ideal conditions. An experiment was conducted to answer this question. How might aneuploidy encourage more phenotypes and increase fitness advantages under selective conditions? The first step in the experiment was to generate isogenic aneuploid strains with stable karyotypes, strains with the same chromosome mutations. Remember, karyotypes depict the number and appearance of chromosomes within the cell's nucleus. The stable aneuploid karyotypes were compared to the euploid cells while both grew in less than optimal conditions. The growth of euploid and aneuploid strains was stunted under most suboptimal conditions. However, under some circumstances, the aneuploid strains exhibited increased fitness. In the analysis of aneuploid yeast strains, it was found that aneuploidy could increase phenotypic variation and fitness under conditions that are suboptimal for, aneuploid, for euploid cells. This suggests the effects of aneuploidy depend on both karyotype and the conditions surrounding the cell. A cell's proteome is the entire list of proteins expressed by the cell. The differences in protein production depend on environmental factors and an organism's genetics. The chart shown here shows the experimental results for the different proteins produced when the chromosome where the aneuploidy was present changes. The cause of the difference in protein production is still unknown, but other research links the difference to differences in pathway regulation, either by upregulation or downregulation. When optimal amount of stimulus for the cell is present, the production of proteins is constant, just like how Lucy and Ethel can keep pace of wrapping chocolates to that of the conveyor belt. But as the stimulus begins to increase, protein synthesis, or chocolate wrapping, slows down because of overstimulation. This is downregulation. But during upregulation, the opposite occurs, since a lack of stimulus has a resulting increase in protein synthesis. Phenotypic variation is the variation in the physical appearance of an organism. The imbalance in gene dosage is, causes the aneuploidy cells to affect the phenotype. Each separate imbalance has a phenotypic consequence that is specific to each karyote. Phenotypic diversity helps to elucidate the fine-scale evolutionary and ecological mechanisms underlying geographical differentiations, as can be seen in the red-eyed tree frog, Agalichnus calidrides. This is most typically seen in their leg coloration, as shown on the right. Scientists study this by comparing it to a color scale, as well as by examining their flask patterns, as shown on the left. This shows the yeast prion, SUP35. PSI Plus produced a wide variety of phenotypes. This shows different phenotypes in each of the seven genetic backgrounds. In this experiment, it is the epigenetic and mystostable nature of PSI Plus inheritance which allows yeast cells to exploit pre-existing genetic variation to thrive in fluctuating environments, which is why their phenotypes are different. The most likely explanation for the majority of detrimental phenotypes 
caused by aneuploidy is the gene dosage hypothesis. This hypothesis says that the gain or loss of a whole chromosome immediately after the dosage of hundreds of genes in a cell leads to imbalances in critical proteins. This can be seen in the top graph. As the dosage increases, the percentage of diploid expression increases and eventually exceeds 100%. Because there is an extra chromosome, cells must replicate and maintain the extra chromosomal material. This creates a higher demand on the DNA replication machinery, chromosome maintenance, and segregation pathways. Changes in the concentration of a particular protein can affect the efficiency of that protein's cellular functions. Oftentimes, cell growth is stunted due to the change in protein, which reduces fitness. However, this experiment proves that aneuploidy can increase fitness under certain conditions, such as a reduction in temperature.